Welcome back, guys. We're going to do another noodle video, uh, spicy noodles. Uh, these I'm responding to a buddy of mine named G Stacks on here uh, who did these noodles and called me out on it. Uh, they're by Nissen. They're actually the molten chicken, uh, chili chicken flavor. And um, these have vegetables that you can put in them. Uh, I've already got them prepared as normal. Uh, let me make sure I'm pointing that at the right spot. Oh, I can smell them. I can smell the veggies in here. Oh, that's, uh, that's a lot of veggies. All right. So what we're going to do is I believe I'm pretty sure I've had these before. So we're going to get right to it, guys. I have the fire sauce. This is literally what they call it is fire sauce right there. And then there's the flavor packet. So we're putting the fire sauce in. Here's the flavor packet. And we're going to give this our honest assessment of the spice. I guess I should. Let's tear this all the way off. And this is the flavor packet right here. The powder that makes it fun. Ah, Nissen always smells really good with their chicken flavor. So we got the large size kitchen shovel today. And we're going to mix this bad boy in. Nice puffy noodles today. Not as spicy, because I, or I mean as um, hot, because I let them sit for a little while longer. And so we're going to get this mixed up. But as I said before, pretty sure I had those these before. And I mean, this is not Nissen's spiciest noodle that they have at, by their own admission so it's going to be handleable for me but we're going to go for flavor we want to check out the flavor and give it our honest assessment after we get this mixed in and again one of those things that i of course don't have enough water in here so i can't really rightly mix it in properly Got a big old clump of the vegetables on the spoon. So, oh, yeah, and I'm making a mess on the floor, too. Now, I guess since it's my responsibility to clean it up, I'm going to. All right, so let's get down to it and dig in on these Firewalk Molten Chicken. Let's see. That's um, not spicy at all. I mean, very mild. Flavor is really good, though. Mm. And the noodle texture is on point. Great amount of chewiness without being, you know, crunchy. Yet also not falling apart in your mouth. So, guys... It's a really good noodle, but it is not spicy, not spicy at all. And I said this was going to be a spicy noodle review. So we're going to switch this up. We're not doing another noodle, but what we are going to do is we're going to add something to it. This is Mr. Payne Hot Sauce. And it says, execute your taste buds by Pepper Palace. It says, ingredients, vinegar, habanero peppers, uh, olea resin, <laughs> capsicum, which is basically, that that's the pepper oil, and then salt and um, uh, xanthan gum, which is, those are just, you know, pre preservatives and texturizers and stuff like that. I mean, there's not a lot of preservatives in it, but this guy has an executioner's hood on. Uh, he's kind of ripped and looking mean. And he also has a big old ax with some blood on it. So I looked online to see what the Scoville units of this is. And it says it's rated at exactly 1 million Scoville units. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a few drops of this bad boy in here and we're going to see, oh, that smells like liquid murder. Um, 
we're going to put some of this in here and uh, see what that does. See if we can cause some. Oh, uh-oh. Uh, I'm only supposed to use a dab. That was... Guys, that was way too much. You're not supposed to use that much. That's like a about a tablespoon. Oh my gosh. Lord help me. My son decided to grace me with his appearance, so I'm going to let him smell it real quick. And then he's going to not say anything while I terminate my taste buds, or what does this say? Execute your taste buds. Go ahead, smell it. Actually, yeah, he it just, honestly tastes like spaghetti. It tastes? You did I mean, not it taste it. It smells like spaghetti. All right, now back I up. All right, guys. I've had a dab of this stuff before, and it's spicy. A couple of dabs on a pizza. Um, yeah. So, <laughs> without further delay, even though I want to delay this, Mr. Payne's hot sauce in chicken, chili, firewalk, Nissen spicy noodles. Oh, get it mixed in a little bit more, please. This will definitely be spicy. Okay, so here we go. Mm. I can taste it right off the bat. That's spicy. It tastes like somebody put a bunch of chilies in tea. And then let it sit for a long time. There it is. It's on the back of my throat. Oh. Mm hmm. I think that's probably one million, give or take. That's some Scobills for sure. Mm. Mm. That's spicy. <clears throat> mm. It tastes good though. And it's building a lot. No. <laughs> Get out of the video. You want one noodle? Yeah. I'll take this. I got it prepared. Wash so your hands. No, let me see. Okay. Go ahead. Three, two, one. Oh, these are no joke. These are no joke. Mm. Guys, mm. I can feel that on my gums. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but we're not going to back off. My son's trying to buck up because he tried one little piece of a noodle. I didn't need to drink any. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's spicy. That's very spicy. Mm. <clears throat> I am getting a sweat. Definitely getting a sweat.
Okay, my nose is starting to run. Stop. My nose is starting to run. And uh, I'm sweating a little bit. Uh, that's spicy. That is very spicy. Mm hmm. We're not going to have any water or anything. We're just going to sit here and we're going to take it. All right. So it's still building. It is not slowing down. And I, half of my tongue is numb right now. And the other half is, the other half is on fire. Um, Guys, that is a spicy meatball. We can do it. <laughs> this sauce, I mean, I don't know if you can see, but right here is the line that it was sitting in the refrigerator. And then down here, <laughs> is the line where I dumped it in. Um, that's literally like a tablespoon. Probably about this much. Had a carrot on the bottom of there. Probably about that much sauce in there. About the same size as the packet. Mm. That's a spicy one, guys. Now my whole tongue is numb, and the back of my throat is a little bit on fire. But we're going to sit through this. So, while I am uh, going through this, <laughs> it does remind me that right now, I'm not going to get crazy or even say anything about anything, but... Um, I do want to reach out and say, I know the world is a crazy place right now, guys. And we're in a really crazy spot. And people are in very, very uh, polarized positions. But I just hope that everybody is at least gives each other a chance to uh, try and um, redeem themselves because I believe in redemption and I believe that somebody redeemed us and we couldn't do it by ourselves. So with that, I do say a prayer for all of you listening that um, you can have peace of mind and that you come to your spiritual peace in this crazy time and and um, you know for me that's god that's my savior christ and i hope that you guys have um the same uh spiritual awakening um it's freeing to know that somebody has absolved you of everything that you've done and that kind of helps you to realize the the bad in yourself and try and turn that good so with that said, I'm not going to preach anymore. I just want to say that I'm praying for everybody out there that you guys are, are safe and, uh, and uh, at peace. Uh, the the fire starting to subside now as I was talking. So, I mean, we'll have to figure out what happens later. But right now, guys, uh, sweaty, a little bit of a runny nose. And um, uh, overall, the noodles were good. The sauce is good, but... <laughs> It is a beast. So what we did again, these noodles, the Nissen Firewalk Molten Chili Chicken, and the Mr. Payne's Hot Sauce rated it over a hundred or over a million Scoville. So with that said, uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend or whenever you're watching this. I hope you have a great day. A blessed day and, uh, you know, God bless you all.